And we started what we call a turnaround uh, for telecom, and we think that the early steps are beginning to show some positive results. Um, the, the cost transformation program is beginning to show some early successes, but you know, it is not a one-off thing. You know, costs and what we need to do around how we manage them, it's a multi-year program, and actually we have evolved a multi-year cost efficiency program. Uh, which will enable us to have a much stronger DNA in terms of how we manage our costs going forward. Um, we've also made some progress in resetting the distortions that you had in the market structure. Um, you know, 12 months ago or so, we had a very, very hostile termination rate environment. I think we've really pushed hard around that, and we think that we'll still push a lot more harder to equalize the competitive platform, to make sure that we can compete as good as everyone else without the distortions that had been created by the sort of regulatory structure that we've had. Um, I think that we've done quite a bit of work to strengthen our balance sheet, post-retirement medical aid, um, long-term debt, and all of those sorts of things. There's been quite a lot of effort by Dion and the rest of the team to really help us drive that. Um, we had initially indicated that we want to de-risk our mobile business and we've put in place an agreement with MTN, uh, which effectively is meant to achieve two things. Help us reduce the capex intensity of the mobile business, but also help us uh, manage the cost structure in a much more variable way than in a fixed way. And we actually think that all things being equal, depending on how it goes with the Competition Commission and other approval, approving agencies will be able to get through that. And then also looking to strengthen the enterprise business, uh, which is one of the reasons why we've been in conversations with BCX. Uh, how do we begin to provide end-to-end -end solutions in the enterprise world, both for large enterprises and small enterprises? Um, and those are some of the efforts in the, what we would call sort of the first phase of the turnaround of telecom that we're putting in place. We think that actually it was a pretty decent year, considering all of the things that we had uh, to deal with uh, in the past financial year. Uh, just looking at revenue, revenue up 1%. Um, and we'll talk about just what the trends had been, if you recall, over the last five years, we had had revenue decline of roughly, on average, about 2% every year over the last five years. And one of the things that we set ourselves out as an, as an objective is to stabilize the revenue decline. And we actually think that we've been putting quite a lot of effort to stabilize that decline uh, over, the last, over the last 12 months. Uh, costs uh, coming down about 2.1%, but in real terms, about 8.2%. Um, there's been quite a lot of work that has been, we've been driving around really creating the right cost transformational program within, within the firm. Uh, cash remains very, very strong at about 1.2. Um, and some of the sort of, you know, numbers that are very important. Headline earnings per share up about 35%, basic earnings per share up about 6%. So for us, actually, it was a very decent, credible performance in the, in the past financial year. Uh, that we're looking to create a platform to be able to sustain it and take it further from there.